Google has come out with something called MUM, M-U-M, and they're saying that it's a new AI milestone inside of Google search. So it's really important. Let's go ahead and dive into it and figure out what MUM is and how it might impact search engine optimization. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. So MUM is a new AI milestone for understanding information. Here's a scenario that Google gives us about it. So say you've hiked Mount Adams. Now you want to hike Mount Fiji next fall and you want to know what to do differently to prepare. Today, Google could actually help you with this, but it would take many thoughtful considerations and searches. So you have to search for the elevation of each mountain, the average temperature in the fall, difficulty of hiking trails, the right gear to use, and more. After a number of searches, you'd eventually be able to get the answer you need. But if you were talking to a hiking expert, you could ask one question. What should I do differently to prepare? You'd get a thoughtful answer that takes into account the nuances of your task at hand and guides you through the many things to consider. So today's searches haven't been able to really answer this type of stuff, but now Google says that with MUM, that might change. MUM stands for Multitask Unified Model, and they say that they're getting closer to helping you with these types of complex needs. So in the future, you'll have to do fewer searches. According to Google, MUM has the potential to transform how Google helps you with complex tasks. Like BERT, MUM is built on a transformer architecture, but it's a thousand times more powerful. MUM not only understands language, but it also generates it. It's trained across 75 different languages and many different tasks at once. MUM also understands things across text and images. And they think in the future, they're gonna be able to incorporate audio and video. So let's go back to that Mount Fiji example, okay? MUM could understand that you're comparing two mountains. So elevation and trail information may be relevant, but it could also understand that in the context of hiking to prepare could include things like fitness training as well as finding the right gear. The other thing that's really cool that MUM can do is it can find information that's written in another language, like Japanese, for example, and it can bring that information from the other language to another language like English, for example. So it can pull information from different languages to deliver information and the best information possible. Google says, while well, all this is great and this is an awesome leap forward with artificial intelligence, they want to do it responsibly. Google says, just as they carefully attested the many applications of BERT, which launched in 2019, MUM will undergo the same process as we apply these models in search. Specifically, they're looking for patterns that might indicate bias in machine learning to avoid biases in the system. So right now, Google is only pilot testing MUM. It's not fully live everywhere yet or anything like that, but Google SEO will probably be impacted by MUM and probably in a good way. So keep an eye out for Google MUM and uh, good luck with all your searches. We'll see you next time.